There are many ways of working on sci-fi and futuristic hard surface models in Blender. Some are different than the others, but if applied properly, they can lead to achieving a good result. In this video, we're going to talk about how to create a sci-fi weapon in Blender and Substance Painter with all the necessary steps needed from start to finish. To do this, we're going to showcase a great course from Yuhu, who were kind enough to sponsor this video and give you guys these affordable courses for beginners. If you want to check this course out and others as well, you can find links in the description. There are a lot of tools in Blender to create sci-fi and hard surface models, especially the fantastic add-ons that it has, whether it be paid or free. In this course, the artist Julian Deville, who is a Blender certified teacher, introduces you to the best and free hard surface modeling add-ons in Blender like Boltool, Carver, and Fast Carve add-ons, and shows you how to use them and why they are very important for this type of work. Before you start working on the actual modeling, you can go through the design stage which is a very important part if you want to create something unique and artistic. You can use different methods to do this if you want to. In this project, the artist is just using a combination of different models in order to stumble upon something that looks good. And then based on the concept of the sci-fi weapon, you can start modeling using basic shapes. This stage is usually called the blockout stage, in which you put in place rough general shapes from which you will start adding details later. After you finish working blocking out the sci-fi weapon, you will have to start adding details to separate parts like the stock, grip, body, barrel, magazine, and so on. This process can be the most time consuming, but it is one of the most important stages that you should do properly in order to create something good. And as you can see, with the help of hard surface modeling add-ons, the artist is able to create details with ease and high speed compared to using Blender native modeling tools only. After you are done using details to different parts of your weapon, you can edit and fix any problems with the mesh in the edit mode. After that, the artist adds materials to different parts of the sci-fi weapon and then he starts UV unwrapping it. This part is also very important and you need to be very good at it because it can help you bake the model properly in Substance Painter, as well as adding the necessary maps and textures in the process of painting the sci-fi model. The UV unwrapping process is very simple, but there are some guidelines that you need to follow, like organizing your UV islands properly and keeping them proportional in size compared to each other, in addition to making sure that you avoid overlapping and distortions as well. After you are done, you can export the model to Substance Painter for baking and texturing. Baking is a very important part of creating complicated models, because it is the process of taking the details from the high poly complicated and poly dense version of your model and baking them on top of the low poly version that will be highly detailed and complicated in the end. This part of the course is important because you'll be able to learn how to use Substance Painter for texture painting and Julian will show you how to create paint shaders and how to add different types of materials to different parts of the sci-fi model, like metal, rubber, and so on. A very interesting thing you can do using Substance Painter is using its hard surface brushes which will allow you to add various small parts to the sci-fi weapon like different types of circles, screws, and handles if you need to. This is a good feature that can save you a considerable amount of time if you do it properly. Because in the past, you had to create these small parts in the high poly version and then bake them on top of the low poly version later. But the options and control that Substance Painter gives you is just fantastic. Also, you will learn how to add stripes of paint and lights to the sci-fi rifle, which will add a nice touch to the whole thing and make it look more interesting. I would say that this part is probably the most fun and the most interesting because you kind of see how your hard work comes to fruition. Also, you can play around with additional texturing options using procedural textures that you can find inside Substance Painter. This will allow you, for example, to add military camouflage to your sci-fi weapon or any type of effect you want to add for ease. In the end, Julian will show you how to export your textures and maps from Substance Painter to Blender in order to see how it will look like when rendered using EV or Cycles. You will see how to create a lighting studio in addition how to use HDRI that can help you make your renders look more natural and realistic when you do the final renders. And finally, you will learn how to do composition for your sci-fi weapon which will help you to take it to the next level and enhance the results you got after the rendering process. Also, you will learn how to take the sci-fi model to a game engine and apply your maps and textures to use it inside a video game. Again, if you want to learn how to create a sci-fi weapon, you will find links in the description for this course at very affordable prices. 
Also, if you are not familiar with basic tools and features of Blender, you will find another course from the same Blender certified teacher who will guide you to discover Blender entirely in 15 chapters through easy to follow exercises that should help you to get a solid understanding of the methods that allow you to work on your own projects. You will learn how to create a simple robot using different Blender modifiers, edit mode, and sculpt mode. You will also learn how to use different Blender render engines, lighting the scene, creating realistic materials, rigging, animation, simulation, and compositing. If you want access to this course as well, you can find the links in the description. Also, I want to mention that this beginner course is continuous, meaning the teacher is still adding to it a few lessons every week, and you can follow with him as he makes progress. I hope you found this useful. If you have something to add, you can leave it in the comment section below. Also, you can check some of our previous videos. Thank you very much and I'll see you in the next one.